Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. My partner has learned to step aside. There's a pause that happens after the greeting, and some of you have noticed. The man in the chair is here for the greeting. This is the signal and the sign that he's safe to retreat. Channeling, you call it, the meld with the other side of the veil is instinctive. If you search your intuition, there are those of you who would say, I would like that for myself, not for others. I would like to be able to create a situation where I could feel the love of God inside me, where I could speak in this fashion to myself, to my cells. It's intuitive. We have also told you that the old energy supports this kind of channeling and the new energy will not. That eventually there'll be a generation where this is not the case and you do not gather and listen to channeling. You will listen instead to information just like you do now. But the discernment engine in you will be just as high as anything that my partner channels and that this will go away because it is not needed that the intuitiveness of the process will become you eventually a time where innate builds the bridge with human consciousness and cellular structure where again I say you can be your own medical intuitive your own spiritual counselor your mastery will show. It's not that far away as we measure the time of civilizations. It will be subtle and not for all. And you'll have the wisdom not to shout that you have it. <laughs> and instead you will turn it into good things, wisdom, joy, love, long life and health. Things are different than you imagine that they might be. The wisdom factor that we have talked about will arise. When civilization has more wisdom, it will not be afraid of the things it is afraid of now. We have told you that world population is not to be feared. You'll have the wisdom to control it. You'll understand more about the process of overcrowding and you will do what some of the other planets have done the wisdom will create just the right population you can control the number of children you have by yourself with wisdom you can have zero population growth on the planet even if you're living a long time that's wisdom there are so many things that you are afraid of. How you're going to feed everyone where the, wet, where the fresh water is coming from and how to get rid of the disease. I would like to promise you that there'll come a time when those are no longer even in your vocabulary. There'll be non-issues because you figured it out. You figured it out because you have an evolved mind that started becoming not smarter but wiser. The wisdom is that which would then create compassion instead of anger or jealousy. And that changes the planet. We have told you that there's energy in consciousness. What we did not tell you are the many shades of the energy in consciousness. Some are more powerful than others, but compassion is at the top. It is the one that will push things the fastest. Fear is at the bottom. Fear would appear to have a great deal of energy, 
But the truth is, it robs you of all energy and gives it to someone else. Fear. It robs you of your health, of your well-being, of your centeredness, and gives it to someone else. These are the things that we have taught you for a long time. <laughs> you sit in a new energy, it's time to reveal things. We have spoken of idly before, perhaps in passing. But it's time for celebration of the human being. You cannot see what we project. Not yet. There'll come a time again when you'll realize that peace on earth is attainable. Right now, when you take a look at the world as it is, it is anything but what you would consider. And what we can say to you as things are not always as they seem. We celebrate the human for the potentials of the future. We're getting through that which you are experiencing now, and you will. And in the process, we like to remind you that this planet is working benevolently in your favor. And when I say this planet, I really mean this planet. It wasn't long ago that we gave you the entire history of Earth. You might say it sounded geological, but it was more than that. It was a celebration of evolution. In that channel, we told you how the Earth literally was created at the same time everything else was in your galaxy. We described to you how life was literally put off over and over again. We told you how you lost one sun. We told you how the Earth cooled slowly. Volcanoes continued to erupt even when life was here, canceling and snuffing it out over and over. We told you that even before your life got a foothold, that those on other planets had civilizations. You were last. And finally, at almost the 11th hour, when life started to grab a hold and photosynthesis became a reality, the balance of oxygen began. And then we told you that we enhanced and accelerated your evolution with the help of the Pleiadians. Now it is time to bring it up to speed of what is happening now and in the future. What we wish to do now is to continue that story and tell you about the weather. It would be a rhetorical question and a comedic, a comedic one if I ask any of you if you've noticed the differences between the weather when you were growing up and the weather now. You have also seen those who would explain it because it is an issue. You've seen those who are afraid of it because there's fear. You've seen those who disagree with it because they're uncertain of what it means. I want to tell you what it means. I want to give you that which is concrete so that you don't have to wonder what Kryon has said about the weather. Let us start with the fact that this earth goes through cycles. The cycles are part of the life force of the planet and they are necessary for the planet to exist. Like there are cycles for you where you need to have them in order to exist. There is a cycle for the planet. And the main cycle for this planet is temperature. Over and over the planet has featured what you would call ice ages and some of them have been severe. The planet changed over a great amount of time to a place 
that was perfect and serene and beautiful for you where the temperature was just right for you part of the reason that life was put off for so long was because of what was in your solar system the massive amounts of particles because of a lost sun and broken up planets create asteroids that continued to hit this planet for they were in the sweet spot of your orbit over and over they kept striking and it seemed like millions of years would go by and there would be another strike until a time when they all had struck that would and there were no more in that particular sweet spot and life began you remain in the sweet spot and the ice ages came and went average of three to five million years between each one there were a lot of them the planet breathes a certain way and cycles a certain way for certain reasons until you got here now here you are human being and you've passed the precession of the equinoxes and you've sent a signal to us that you're going to stay the last ice age was millions of years ago and you're not threatened by another one of its magnitude it's far away but there is something that happens in between the major ice ages and they're called mini ice ages and they come and they go as part of the flow and the cycle of the planet as well any scientist who studies the weather accurately unbiasedly who looks at the core samples of the ice and the rings of the trees will know that what I am telling you is the planet going through its cycles there are many ice ages in the middle of the big ones on a regular basis the last time you had one was in the 1600s Europe felt it the famous river in London froze and it did not kill civilization it was simply uncomfortable I would like to tell you something in the cycles that ice age that we call a mini ice age should not be coming soon it's not time for it yet and the scientists will tell you that when they look at the cores and the rings it's not time for another mini ice age therefore when we tell them they're wrong it's coming they are reticent to believe it they will call on any other thing because it's not time yet the cycle has not gone through its time yet light worker I want to give you the best news you've ever heard you're in the middle of a mini ice age and I'm going to tell you why it's the best news it's coming just like it did in the 1600s but this one is way too soon it has been accelerated and I'll give you the reason why and you need to hear it and I hope you dance a jig when you hear it you have been told you're killing your oceans they're dying you've overfished the reefs are crumbling and because it's not time for this to happen therefore you have assigned all manner of things to it but what humans always do if anything goes wrong you're responsible but you're not you did not cause the weather change that you're starting to see you didn't make it any better by what you did <laughs> but you didn't cause it is it any clearer than that you didn't cause it but it's here what caused it something special caused it and I'll tell you what caused it when you sent the signal that you're staying that's what caused it and here's what it does eventually 
your biologists are going to discover a cycle of life they don't know about yet. The vast unknown, the frontier that is unexplored is your oceans. And you don't know what you don't know. But I would like to tell you that Antarctica is the seat of so much of the new life on this planet. It's carried from Antarctica in underwater currents whose temperatures are different from those around them who affect them that travel under the ice, spill into parts of the ocean through temperature layers and cycles of the earth. And that if the earth needs to go through many ice cycles, it's for one reason. The little mini ice ages are to advance new life in the ocean. You're not due for one yet because you weren't going to stay. And as soon as you showed us you were, your weather started changing. The temperature of the ocean is creating new life. This will be proved to you when the reefs come alive again, when there are too many fish and it's happening. I sit here with the prediction that the oceans will come alive again before their time was to come alive and the reason is for temperature shifts and the mini ice age that is coming at you now. It's going to get colder. Celebrate it and you're going to have food because of it. I sit here in the chair with my partner and he's listening and he wished I hadn't said it because <laughs> he's wondering if it's going to happen. You see, even he doubts some things. It's too far-fetched as he would say, <laughs> using his words that all that you're seeing is about the creation of food in the sea. I want you to watch for it. Much of it is going to happen on your watch, dear one. And when it does and you see the anomalies of the return of life, remediation of the reefs by themselves, you'll remember this channel. There may be those who study the climate who may be wanting to hear this and look into it and see some of the anomalies travel to Antarctica do some measurements start to see what life is like under that ice and there's a lot of ice there now you said there wouldn't be those who believe the earth is warming are correct because there is a warming cycle before each and every mini ice age. This is the way it works, but this one is too soon, and now you know why. We encourage those, especially in the north, to go against the protocol that says that you should not have a wood burning stove because of pollution and pass the laws that would allow it for emergency and get one because when the grid fails it's all you're going to have when the grid fails it's all you're going to have keeping warm is going to be important in certain parts of this country and others and you're not prepared. That's just something we want to say yet again to those who might be listening. We know where we are. It doesn't necessarily apply to you in Texas. Oh, but it will get colder. <laughs> we celebrate you. What you've done I want you to look at this. Consciousness changed the weather. Consciousness changed the weather. Don't forget that you're a master 
and what you've done. We are in love with humanity for good reason. And so it is.